Hello everyone, Dev the Sunny Panda here, back with some more Sim Airport. Uh, people are getting ready for the first morning flight already. Early birds coming to the airport at 4:15 a.m. Wow, must be sleepy. We need some coffee stands and some luxury items to improve the satisfaction, which we will concentrate on today. So, what we uh, we have flight schedule, and we are going to keep an eye out. On our profit and loss statement for today to see how much we are spending and how much we are earning currently our expenses are outweighing our income so yeah airline fees is income uh, terminal fees is also income runway fees is also income expenses we are not making any expenses on infrastructure for today there's just you are just going to have the maintenance cost piling up but this day today let's let's run the whole day of day five without making any expenses so that we can have a look at our profit and loss and see how much exactly we are uh, earning versus our expenditure staffs um, getting paid a lot uh, CFO in special but yeah he's a high-ranking staff member so understandable uh, we don't need to research anything yet. I don't want to waste money. I need to save up. At least start going in the green before making more expenses. And um, let's see if we have any early morning flights. Nope, no early morning flights yet. Probably need to upgrade our runway to start getting early morning flights. Let's, let's have a look. Uh, instrument landing system allows larger airlines to conduct a precision approach. It also helps you attract big boy airline, uh, cost 25, uh, runway PAPI, approach path indicator provides visual indicator to pilots of their approach angle resulting in increased safety. So crosswind, um, the tolerance of crosswind, uh, crosswind increases, so yeah, um, probably a good, good um, ex investment. But as I said, we're not going to invest anything today. We're going to see how we do money-wise. Flight is 54 minutes from takeoff and it's almost fully boarded. So it's going to take off earlier than expected. Yep. And I think we get a bonus too if it takes off early. Hmm. We're still not making any profit. We are losing money. But not all our flights have landed for the day. I think if I fire the CFO, we'll be in the green. But we also then lose out on all these stats. If only I could schedule some more flights in here. We can definitely get another AM flight. Because this arrives at departs at 10 and this arrives at 11.15. So what we can do is have this a bit later, 10.30 departure. And push this a bit more. So it's 5.30 arrival. Even more, 5.45 arrival. It's fine. Uh, departure 7.45, arrival 8.30. This is a small aircraft, so it's fine no matter when it arrives or takes off have our first afternoon flight pushed back a little to give us some breathing room departs at three the small flight will make it through no worries now we can get another morning flight easily let's go for union air sure why not morning um except it's added to night flights again why Why did it do that? And it added an afternoon flight too. All are big though. What the... Okay. Let's get our morning flight scheduled for... Yeah, this should be fine. We have another afternoon flight now out of nowhere. 
I can't I can't pay for it so cancellation either oh no is that a bug is that a known bug I'll have to look into that because if I cancel it look at that 6200 5200 5200 How much does it get to get rid of small one? Okay, 5,200. Huh. Okay, let's see what the best we can do. We can move this earlier. Earlier, noon. There's no problem. 12 departure, 11 arrival, 1 hour difference. Um, this is a bigger aircraft, 140. So let's get rid of our smaller aircraft. Pay the 5,000 fee. That's no problem. Schedule this for... 2.45 arrival, no, let's push it a bit, yeah, 2.45 arrival, let's extend the departure to 5, um, we have a small aircraft in the night, right, let's remove that, yeah, okay, fine, uh, which one is the bigger aircraft out of this, this one, Pacific Airlines, let's have that at 11.30, um, why not? This one takes off at 10.30, 11.30, 1 hour and it departs at 1.30 so that's fine and then we have this one which we again need to make rid of. I need to be careful, I don't know why, it's just signing up extra flights while I don't mean it to. That must be a bug. So yeah, need to be careful while playing around with that. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 flights running all across except the early morning hmm does the night night flights do seem to go on early morning schedule too requires night arrivals anyways so our our profit and loss must have gone way overboard loss of 20,000 because we gave airline fees of 15 so if we wouldn't have that we would still be in the minus but we will we'll, we'll We'll get to know the actual um, situation today. Uh, let's let's monitor our flights. Some are cancelled and some are. Yeah, we'll we'll probably know it only properly from tomorrow. Oh well, let's just see. Uh, one p.m. flight is our next one now. It has three stars on it though. Oh, nine a.m. is our next one. Okay. Here we go. People are already ready to board, so there is no worries at all. We're handling, we're handling the crowd well. Um, I don't want to add any new ticketing desks or security scan, scan um, the security area or staff anything more yet, because once we add another gate, start having more flights, I can expand and do more. For now. I want to keep it as less as possible. We got rid of the smaller flights, so we are going to be having um, more uh, bigger flights. Probably bigger flights mean more pay, does it? I don't know. I, I feel logic does dictate that, but um, let's increase. I, I'm worried about losing money, but we are making money now. We are making 4,600 by or around 4,000 with our flights. That is good. That is good. Once we stay in the green, we can start upgrading and adding more facilities for our passengers, improve their um, experience and satisfaction and gain more airlines attention, add more gates and, you know, just keep on improving. Uh, probably add another runway once we, once we can all that good stuff look at that take off <laughs> just, just whoosh gone today's profit and loss is still a bit tilted due to the airline fees but it should stabilize tomorrow by the bank balance we are making profit we are in the green 15 plus 5 is 20 and then 500 is 25 is our expense and 20 oh 
No, my math sucks. 15 plus 5 is 20 and 500. So that's 20,500 is our expense and 24,600 is our income. So we are in the green. That's no worries. I'm happy. I'm so happy because I haven't had such a stable start in a long time. I mean, um, we could we could have gone for a scratch build, but I feel going for a build with the basics done is a bit more comforting and you don't need to spend a lot of time planning out everything and we can expand on this you know it'll be fun to renovate and expand on what we already have and we have a second floor a third floor and we have lower ground to you know have different gates on different floors have different comforts on different floors it'll be amazing what is the requirement most for hunger environment information is fine boredom is fine so environment and hunger is what is plaguing us the most as of now but it isn't too bad it's just not growing our satisfaction look at that this one's uh, going to take off early our flights have been good what happened to the 5 p.m flight oh we had cancelled it yeah good job we are doing well. Even this one is cancelled today. So, yeah. Phew. Busy day, busy day. Okay. What else can we do for now? Nothing. We just wait for time. Maybe, maybe we can place a couple of uh, amenities now. I mean, it's not going to cost us a lot. Hopefully. A comfort. No, we need retail. So if we add, uh, say, where's where's a snack machine? Food vending, three thousand five hundred. Um, earning you five per transaction. It fulfills the need for food, which does exist as of now. So we'll have a food vending machine um, placed here. Sure, why not? Um, a phone charger. Packs phones left with only five percent. Uh, help passengers avoid boredom and frustration, but it also costs. But it is also costly to run and to maintain. A ten dollars hourly. Hmm. Newspaper stand, twenty five hourly. Well, how much was this hourly? This was no. This had no hourly cost. Drink machine. A drink machine needs to be within a zone, to be stocked. So. Probably, I can't really place it yet. Uh, what else do we have? Pizza joint. 24,600. Not required as of now. We don't need to... We don't need to make big expenses now. We just need to make small... Small changes so that, you know... Look look at that. It's already earning us revenue. <laughs> so much food being used from the vending machine. The vending machine is going to make us rich. Almost earned us hundred dollars in the first flight of the day. More, it's earning us even more. We need some more chairs to objects comfort. Let's add benches. Uh, let's maintain. Uh, yeah, one more. One more is fine. Yeah. And let's add a garbage bin too. Why not? It's having troubles finding the runway. Uh, what is its scheduled departure? 8 a.m. Oh, it, it departed well. It's, it's departing at scheduled departure. No, no worries. We are going lower and lower in terms of money. But I think we'll, we'll, make, it, we'll make it a profit today. Maybe we did pay some extra for the materials. Garbage bin, bench and food vending. But... That should be covered. We are we are making four thousand five hundred still from my uh, four thousand one hundred. I guess yeah. Okay. Earning four thousand one hundred per day, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. But this this look at this. It has earned three sixty five dollars today. Just one food vending machine. <laughs> oh my god! This is going to make us rich. It really is. Retail three hundred eighty six today. And I, not even. Um, which flight was cancelled? Did we cancel the flight today? I don't 
think we cancelled any flight. Oh, maybe the small one. Okay. Um, yeah, just the third flight of our day, which arrived now. And it's already earned us 200, 300, 500 now. Wow. Okay. That's doing well. It's doing really well. I didn't expect it to do that well. Okay. In time. Just in time. Phew. I don't think I need to... Uh, assign more aircraft at all we're doing pretty fine and I'm so scared of assigning an aircraft now because it adds the extra ones and then I need to pay huge cancellation fees I'm scared of paying those cancellation fees I can't afford them all the time let's look at research what is um, loves hiring cons operations land expansion not really required advanced security Ability to assign ID check stands to baggage scanners and baggage scanners to metal detectors for precise flow control. Um, aircraft gates to specific desks, fuel ports, lower interest rates. We really need income tax, but 2,500, 24,000 bucks for researching VP of finance. No thanks. We'll wait on that. Let's go into some green before we start making big expenses again. Well, the first big expense we'll have to do is improving the runway. We can probably make this a maintenance room now. Uh, sorry, let's go zones, zones. Yeah. Maintenance, where's maintenance at? Yep. Oh no, it's 4x4. Four maintenance requires a five by five whoops uh, so what we do is we just go in and uh, foundation oh i have to spend on foundation again look at that it's spending so much on foundation uh, okay okay maybe not this episode maybe next episode but we have done quite a lot and I'm going to call it a day here after, um, when's the next flight? Next flight is at 11.30. Sure, why not? We'll have, we'll, we'll call it a day after the next flight. It still shows some are cancelled. I only cancelled the small ones. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven flights per day. So 11:30 is our next actual flight. It just landed. It's taxiing. Going to load how many passengers? Can I know? 90 passengers. Easy. Some are still at the security though. Can they make it in time? It's still has 60 minutes to depart, so isn't going to be a problem. Make it delayed a little bit. Yeah, just like a few minutes at most. 98% boarded. So the last flight had some misses. Why? Was it because of the previous flight? Probably because of the previous flight. But it wasn't a massive miss. So, yeah. We did spend some money today. Let's see. What was our profit and loss? Oh, we didn't check yesterday's profit and loss. Day 8 expenses were... Okay, we can... Day 8 expenses was 2,819. And day 8... Um, come on. Income... Oh, today's day 8, sorry. Day 7 income was 17 and expense was 26. Hmm. What, is the, what was the expense? Why was there so much expense? Let's see. Day 7. Yeah. What was the biggest expense on? Staff. 15,000. Who is the... Who is the culprit for the... Okay, I can't expand on it. It is my CFO. I should really fire him for now. 
let's let us go to green let's start making money and then i won't be able to see these stats but i feel it's worth firing him anyways we'll take the decision oh it costs to fire him too why logically we should be making profit Oh well, we'll have a look at this next time and we'll decide if our CFO stays or goes. Leave me a comment, I would love to hear from you. Also, if you're enjoying the content, I would appreciate a like. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.